Hi at all. I'm uh, out here at uh, the Bluebird. Finally figured out how to make my uh, flashlight work on the camera. <laughs> anyway, so here she is. It's been a long time. It's uh, end of January and it's about 30 degrees out here. This is going to be a cold start. A good cold start. As you can see, I didn't like the gray on the wheels, so uh, I kind of painted them silver. I like the silver look a lot better. Um, so yeah, we'll go open her up. I have, there's only a couple marker light lenses I haven't changed on it. Um, it's going to be these three up front just because the screws are stripped on them and I'm going to try to fix that later tonight. Um, and then I believe it's this red one right here. Yeah. Because I couldn't get, get to it. Um, it's just that the back screw towards the point that takes those off. As for the uh, loading lights, the warning lights, I have um, replacement lenses. Actually, I have the warning light uh, assemblies from the uh, Thomas that were brand new lenses when I, uh, right before I converted it to LED. So um, I'm gonna swap all of them out. I have LED lights for the all the marker lights coming. Um, I have LED lights for the turn signals coming. I don't have LED lights for the little tail lights or the reverse lights, but I did replace the reverse light lenses. Um, so, um, yeah, let me uh, pause the video and get in the bus and we'll crank her up. All right, just got in the bus here. These are some uh, lights that I stole off of another junk bus. Uh, damn, I need to clean these seats off again. They're disgusting already. Um, Anyway, so yeah, it's still filthy in here. It's got to be pressure washed. Um, these are the uh, lights from the Thomas. So the lenses on them are brand spanking new. So I mean, why not put them to good use? There's the old mirrors, uh, light lenses here, sledgehammer for freeing up the brake calipers. I did slant the gear shift just for uh, fun. Seems to be a habit of mine. Uh, the uh, uh, Aero Flash flasher is in there now. The Beta Brown flasher is out, so the lights flash a lot faster. Um, and then, yeah, I just need to shoot another coat of uh, tan paint on the uh, dash here and clean up the uh, air vents and paint the dash black and clean the steering wheel, and she'll be really nice. I'll take this key out of the uh, lock here. Another thing I noticed is down here, let's see here, down here. Uh, somewhere down here, up here somewhere, right there. That That is a hole to your left there that goes into the engine compartment. And it's, uh, I gotta patch it. It's where heater hoses came through. All right, one more time, pause the video. All right, let's resume. Should probably check under the hood uh, before starting this thing up and just make sure everything looks okay. That might make me feel a little better. It's been sitting forever, so. And the chrome on the grill, the polish is actually starting to show through in a few spots. So, and this right here, I've got a replacement one of these back at the house. Uh, looks like a couple of them need replacing. This one does, and that one does. So and that's fine. I got replacements at the house because I've got the I got a white winter front in here. <laughs> okay, open sesame. Let's see how we look. Make sure everything looks okay. She's still filthy, but the belts look good. Nice and tight. Let's check our oil. How are we looking? Ooh, oil looks pretty. There's one thing this thing has. It, it had just gotten an oil change when I bought it. Got water in there. That's good. Well, let's go twist the key and see if we can't make her fire up. Oh yeah, and uh, these lenses are new too. They're swapped over from the other bus. These lenses seem to be okay. I do have uh, LEDs for these coming as well. Okay, let's see here. Do I have a rag? No, but I have a chalks receipt. <laughs> Not dogging on chalks. Uh, for those of you guys that uh, are my bus people, uh, chalks, truck, and bus parts. I do a lot of business with them. Uh, www.chalks.com 
All right, let's see what happens here. How's our battery looking? Oh, looking good. Ooh, let's try again. Ooh, cranky she is. Will she idle? Nope. Here we go, one more time. The throttle lock does work though. Well, it did. Let's see if I can pull it out. Well, it, it's frozen, I need a pair of pliers. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, let's give her a quick second here to that's a little bit of high oil pressure, but it's to be expected. Oh yeah, marker lights are on, okay. Let's see if she'll idle. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, if anybody you parts guys, I need a, uh, a trim ring for that Aero 35 stepwell light. Kind of bad. Sounds happy now. She just cold nature, but it's to be expected. It's a little rattly too. There's some crap in the hood. Well, she fired right up. She's cranky, but she did it. Yeah, I feel bad. It's been been about a month since I've driven this and actually I wasn't the last one to drive this my fiance uh, I let her test drive it around the block so but anyway I do have an Elmo monitor at the house updates it will go up there somewhere up here probably like right here it should fit and that'll be nice because I can cut the hole right here and my wiring will be right here where the flasher is so that'll be cool um, and yeah, if anybody has a big Bluebird mirror, one of the big tall ones with the metal frame, not the rubber frame, uh, let me know. I'm interested in one. So I know I'll have to retrofit the frames a little bit. So that's okay. And I do have a replacement sun visor at the house. It's from the donor bus over there. So, And it's practically brand new. So anyway, that's it for now. That's the Bluebird. She's still around. I did do a cold start on the Thomas the other day and I apologize for not uh, videoing it. But I did do one and it uh, it was a little bit smoother starting than this one was. But then again, it was during the day when it was warm. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.